So Tai's Eye is out early. I mean, I guess we should have all expected as much since, you know, Tokyo Ghoul came out on a Friday. All the other manga chapters, like, for instance, One Piece, Torica, and Boku no Hero, that came out on Wednesday. So I guess it was to be expected that Tai's Eye would be out rather early this week. But I'm glad to see it, and I'm glad I finally got to read the chapter. So, am I the only one that thought that this chapter was really, really short? Now, I went back and read it multiple times just to make sure I didn't speed read it. But overall, the chapter is super, 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 super simple and short. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but in terms of what we got last week and the previous weeks, it does lack a lot that we normally have. And so, it felt like a rather quick chapter when I sat down and read this, because I read it literally in like three and a half, four minutes or so, and I'm like, whoa, 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 what the fuck? I read this so quick, like it's so quick compared to how I normally read it, how I take the time, I read it and all that, and I reread it again. It, it was just so quick. I'm like, okay, so yeah, it was a relatively short chapter this week, and so I want to ask, like, did anyone else feel the same? Like, did anyone else feel like this chapter of Taizai felt way shorter than than normal. Now, hopefully Nakama Sensei isn't sick or something, or something's not going on, but it does feel like something was off, especially when it came to just overall the entirety of this chapter. But getting off of that, though, let's talk about the core content. So one of the big things is that this chapter focuses on Dreyfus slash Fraudrin confronting Hindi and Zeratris. Yes, you heard me, Zeratris. So this was going to happen eventually. I mean, we should have all expected this to eventually happen ever since we saw Zeratris come back and he said he needed to do something before he could pass back over. We knew something like this had to happen because the big situation, the big like relationship between these three characters, it's very important for their character growth. As we know, Dreyfus' body is taken by Fraudrin, which is one of the Ten Commandments. He's being uh, forced to do things against his will. Hindi, at the time, he, he did some very sinister and bad things in the past, thanks to Fraudrin inside of Dreyfus' body. And and these two actually conspired and killed Zeratris, which was the brother of Dreyfus. Now, with this chapter, since Zeratris is here, it's like it's redemption. It's like, you know, Zeratris is saying to Handy, hey, I know, I know you, you did some pretty crusty shit in the past. I, I know you killed me and all that. I, I know Dreyfus did it as well. But I'm here to set everything right. I'm here to finish what I need to do. And I, I'm here to take out that demon out of Dreyfus for he can be completely fine once again. That's kind of what Zeratris is doing. And so the main point of this chapter is setting up for the redemption of Dreyfus and Hindi. That, that's what it is. It's where Dreyfus is now trying to probably get freed from Fraudrin. And Hindi's trying to save his best friend but also redeem redeem himself for all the evils he's committed in the past. So, I do like how Nakaba Sensei set all this up for this chapter and allowed Zeratris to pop up. Pretty damn badass. I love Zeratris' like, entire introduction into the chapter. When he lands down, you see this lightning thunder god stuff come down. He looked like a fucking badass. Like, yo, Zeratris, like, my boy, you look badass. I mean, not as badass as what Escanor has done or Merlin, but Zeratris, my boy, damn, that was some pretty badass, you know, introduction into the chapter. So, one of the big things, though, is that Fraudrin, I was going to say Dreyfus, Fraudrin, he doesn't seem necessarily that strong. I mean, we know he's strong, but if you compare him to the other Ten Commandments that we have seen throughout the journey of Taizai, he doesn't seem to be that strong. Now, I could be wrong. Looks could be, you know, deceiving. Maybe this man is very, very strong, but I'm going to throw out some... I guess theories I have or probably what might be going on here as we know Fraudrin is a stand-in for the Ten Commandments He's not a legit Ten Commandments. It's like he's just a, a person that is just right now Taking you know the spot of a Ten Commandment until a true Ten Commandment pops up So he's not probably at the same power level as the other Ten Commandments So if we think about it like that it makes sense why he's not as strong as the others But on top of that too though He's not in his like I guess a really good strong body I mean we know he took over Dreyfus but he also is severely weakened thanks to what Meliodas did to him in the past. So there is a possibility this man isn't at his pinnacle strength once more. So he probably is not at that strength to where he was in the past. So thinking about it all like this, it makes a lot of sense why he's probably weak. But at the same time though, we have to wonder like exactly how are they going to get 
Fraudrin out of Dreyfus' body. Because they tried to use Purge, but apparently that did not work at all. So how the hell are you going to get this demon out of, inside of Dreyfus? Get it out where he can be fine once again. And apparently Zoratris has some form of, like, idea to actually fix this. And if I had to assume anything, I think most likely he's probably going to sacrifice himself in some way to probably save Dreyfus. Because, I mean, look, Zoratris is on borrowed time right now. I mean, this man, he's only back right now because he has something he needs to accomplish. That's the only reason why... He's holding on right now. We know he's like a spirit, like a ghost. He's not really alive alive right now. He's just there to settle something, and this is probably what he wants to settle. Saving, you know, his brother. Saving Dreyfus. And so... This right here, most likely, when he says, like, I have a plan, he probably will sacrifice himself to probably expel Fraudron outside of his body. That's probably what's being set up in this chapter. Now, I do hope Gil Thunder pops up and actually gets to see Zeratris in this fight. I would really like him to see Zeratris to have some form of meeting uh, and see how, you know, he just talks with his father. I would love to see that, and hopefully Gil Thunder does pop up get to see this before Zeratris disappears and probably passes away if Fraudron does get removed from Dreyfus's body. So that's about it when it comes to this chapter. I mean, the chapter, like I said, it was a very simple chapter. It was very quick to the details. But, I mean, it was a solid chapter, just felt incredibly short. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.